before you begin today's tutorial, you should know that I started filming this thing, I got more than halfway and then I got stuck because the instructions look really long and they are really long. So what I wanted to do is that I couldn't figure out how to finish. So I decided from the goodness of my own heart, very reluctantly, but I made a crochet diagram so you can have the stitch keys. There are several pages. So look, at, you can have all that great stuff. So if you go into more information of the video, you can find that. So I'm gonna kick you on into the tutorial Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. So those my friends at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host, Mikey, a pattern by Catherine White. And this is the Heart's Desire Ring Bearer Pillow. This is technically using a crochet thread, but I'm going to be using Karen Cotton Cakes today with the five millimeter size H hook so that you can see the stitch work more um, easily on camera. What we have here is we have a top pillow face. We also have a bottom sec side to it. Um, you have to make the pillow as per the instructions, but if you can find the pillow of the same size that is in there, then you'll probably save yourself some time. This is an intermediate level. There is some extra work that uh, may surprise you as we're going. You're going to notice is that there's hearts that are surrounding the ring, and those are done individually as we go, and we'll be demonstrating that as well. So I will be showing you how to do the front face. I will talk about doing the back, and then I'll show you the join, and then everything else is in your capable hands on how you wanna do it. So let's begin and grab your crochet hook, and this is a 1.65 millimeter um, um, crochet hook. It's really, really thin for the crochet thread, but if you want to substitute, you can. Just know when you substitute though, you will change the size. And no, I don't have any other substitutions to keep the size the same. So let's uh, begin. So let's begin. We're going to create a slip knot and you're going to chain a total of four. So one, two, three, and four. And slip stitch to the beginning chain to form the ring. Like this. Keep the straggler around the outside of the ring so that you can trap it underneath. And we're going to officially go to round number one. Let's do round number one. How we finish this round matters, so make sure you are paying attention. You're going to chain one and you are going to apply eight single crochets into the center of the ring. Go right up over top of that loose end. We'll count these out together. So we'll do one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. After the eighth is done, you are going to slip stitch, and it says slip stitch to the back loop of the first one. If you're not sure, count it backward. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Slip stitch only to the back loop, and that was then technically round number one. If you've gone over the straggler, like I did the loose end, and it's buried underneath the ring, you can get rid of that right down to the project. And it should be invisible at this time. And carry on to round number two. Round number two, you're going to chain up one. And in the first one you did the join, you're going to, in the back loop only, do two single crochets in each of the stitches all the way around. So there's eight stitches that go around, so therefore you'll change your count to 16 when you're done. So two single crochets into the back loop only all the way around. I'll be right back at the end of this round. When you come around, make sure that there's eight groups of two, giving you 16 stitches, and you're going to slip stitch then to the beginning single crochet right where you normally would have done before. Let's begin round number three. Round number three, you're going to chain three, which will count as a half double crochet and a chain one space. So one, two, three, and then half double crochet in the same stitch that you're coming out of there. Just like that. So you're going to skip the next stitch. So chain one first, skip the next stitch. And then in the next one after that, you're going to apply one half double crochet, chain one and one half double crochet. And you'll be repeating that around. So chain one, skip one, and half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in the next stitch. Please do this for round number three. So you're coming all the way around on round number three. Don't forget the chain one after you've done your half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. It always looks like there's two stitches. This is part of the first one. So you're going to slip stitch to the second chain of the beginning chain three, and it will look like this. Okay, let's begin number four. Now, because I'm using thicker yarn, this is a lot bigger than the original, if you really look at that picture. 
So right where we're sitting, we need to get ourselves for round number four to this chain one space that is in between two half double crochets. So just slip stitch on over first, just like that. And now you are going to chain two and you're going to do a two double crochet cluster, which includes this here. So to do that, you're gonna yarn over and going into the same space, pull through, pull through two and hold and do it again. So yarn over, same space, pull through, pull through two and hold. Once you have the three loops on your hook, you're just gonna wrap and pull through all three. This is technically a three double crochet cluster, but because it was the beginning, it has to be described as a two double crochet cluster. You're now going to chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. You're going to jump to the next one here and go to the chain one space. So you're skipping this space and going to this one. And then you're going to do a three double crochet cluster in that spot. So you're going to just wrap the hook in, pull through, pull through two and hold, and do it again. Pull through, pull through two and hold, and one more time. And so you can see the, all the loops here. And then you're going to yarn over, pull through everything. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And then immediately just come to the next one right here. So you skip the first one, go to the next, chain one, and do it again. And you're going to do this all the way around for round number four. Okay, so there will be a total of eight of these cluster stitches that you see and also eight chain five spaces by the time you get around. I'll see you at the end of the round. So I'm coming all the way around and I want to slip stitch to the top of the first cluster and you should have eight spokes, what it appears to be spokes, in the wheel. Okay, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then eight chain five spaces. Let's begin number five. Okay, let's begin number five. Let's take our time doing this. Right where we're sitting, we need to chain a total of five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And it says to slip stitch the four chain from the hook. So one, two, three, and four. And so we're going to slip stitch four chain from the hook. Like that. And it creates this mini little loop that you'll see. Now, we want to then continue to chain three. So one, two, three, and you're going to single crochet in the next chain five space. You are now going to chain three. So one, two, three, and in the top of the next cluster that you have here, you're going to half double crochet first. And then you are going to chain a total of four. So one, two, three, and four, and slip stitch into the top of the first half double crochet. And it's essentially what you did already. It's just, it's been, it's written differently. Once you have that done, you're going to chain three. So one, two, three, and single crochet into the next chain five space. And then chain three. And I'll show you one more. So in the top of the cluster, you're going to half double crochet, chain four, one, two, three, four, and slip stitch in the top of that first half double crochet, chain three, and single crochet into the next chain five space. And you'll do this around. You'll have eight of these spokes going all the way around by the time you're done. I'll see you at the end of number. So I'm coming all the way back around and I just got to chain my three. One, two, three, and then just slip stitch to the beginning of where I started. 
Now, we're going to fasten this yarn off, so I'm gonna show you that in a moment. But what I wanna do is that I wanna take this extra strand here, so I'm just going to lock this first before I do anything. Don't turn it over because you can see the right side of the project right now because you've been working in a wheel. Now, what I recommend to you is that, I don't know if this is important at this time, but I don't wanna be taking a guess. I'm going to put my hook inside here and I'm just gonna wrap this through. And I'm doing a stitch marker so I can always tell the right side of the work, the front side, the good side. And so if I do this and this is hanging out, this means that this is the good side facing up, this is the, the wrong side. So I'm going to take this strand here and we need to weave off our ends. The hearts that we're about to do, there's gonna be a total of eight of them, have to be done individually and added to this as we go. So I'm going to just take my strand, it may be harder because it's um, thread yarn, but just put the thread through a, a small needle and just weave it through the ends. Okay, and if you wanna tie it onto itself, um, you can get away with it a lot easier in the, in the thread for sure. And just weave it back and forth. So any kind of weaving, just use your tapestry needle and just do a great job and take your time because this is probably a big occasion for whatever you're doing. Now we're going to just trim and you're gonna turn it back over to the good side, the right side facing up. You should see eight spokes, which I do. And now we're gonna go for the heart number one. So we have to start that next. So in the pattern, you're gonna see heart one. This is the very first one, hearts two through seven. They're gonna be joining on to the other heart that's already there. So heart one doesn't have any other hearts to join to. Hearts two through seven join to another one. And then hearts uh, eight joins and, and connects everything together. So we're going to be concentrating on heart number one first. And then once we get that done, you can see the hearts are going in a circle. They're done individually, but they're attaching to this as we go. So let's do heart number one. So let's begin and we're gonna create a slip knot make sure that you keep extra long tails so that you can weave it in accurately later. And you wanna to go to any one of the spokes on the outside and you wanna make sure that you're grabbing the entire loop, not just a stitch. And you're gonna go right into the loop and you are going to slip stitch this. So just going over and through and through. This will count as one chain in the future, but it's, don't count it as one right now. So you're gonna chain three, so one, two, and three. So with this one plus the join, that technically gives you four. And in the same loop, you want to apply four trebles into there. So we'll count these out together. So we have one, two, three, and four. So with the beginning chain and these four, it gives you a total count of five. Now we're going to turn our work upside down and begin row number two. So you're going to start and you're going to chain three. So one, two, and three, and you're going to treble into the same first stitch where that's coming out of. You're then going to treble into the next treble. That's the second stitch in from the edge, just so that you're aware of that. The next one is the middle stitch of the group of five, and there's going to be three trebles in that same stitch. So let's apply three there. And just think about it as a mirror. So you're gonna do the opposite to how you got to the middle. So the next one is gonna be one treble by itself. And then in the very last one, it's the turning chain. Don't go into the gap space, go right into the top of the chain and apply two trebles into that chain. So we have one and two. And now you're gonna turn your work back to the good side, the right side, and you're going to begin the final row. So finally, row number three, you are going to 
single crochet into the first treble. So um, once we have that, so we're not going to do anything to it. We're just going to treble. It doesn't say to chain one. So we're just going to treble into the first. Or Let's begin number three. You've already turned your work because I had you turn. And you are going to start by just single crocheting into the first one. So you don't actually chain one before you start. Then you are going to double crochet and treble into the next stitch. So double crochet first, and then treble into the same stitch. Then it says two trebles and DC into the next stitch. So to start with two trebles, And then a double crochet into that same stitch. So you're creating a, a one of the sides of the heart shape. Single crochet into the next one. And then slip stitch into the next one. So this is the middle of the heart. And now you're going to create the other side of the heart. So right when you've slip stitched the middle, you're going to single crochet in the next. So just follow my instruction here and ignore what's on the pattern. And in the next stitch, what you have to do is that you have to double crochet and put two trebles into the next one. So we're gonna double crochet first and then two trebles. Daniel's baking, just if you wanna know what that sound is. Okay. And then we're gonna come into the next one. We're gonna uh, treble and then double crochet into the same stitch. And then finally, the last one, you were going to single crochet the top of the last turning chain. Like that. And this is where the story ends for heart number one. And so you're going to take the yarn and then you're going to weave in the ends like I showed you already. So just kind of do that. You can do it later if you want to. And you're going to move on to numbers um, two through seven. And the difference is, is that they start attaching to each other as you go around. And then number eight, you'll have a heart here, heart here, and number eight fills in and grabs both at the same time. So I'm gonna weave in my ends later. You're going to start with the next one right here. You're gonna put it on and you're gonna to go to the next loop here. And this will apply for hearts number two through seven. So I'll show it to you just once. And so just kind of pull things open to make sure that you can see the beginning loop. and attach. And if you recall, you have to chain a total of three. So one, two, three, and then you apply four trebles into the same one. So we have one, three, and four. You'll turn the whole thing upside down and begin row number two. So row number two is when you're going to join it to your next heart, but we'll do it when we finish this row. So it's the same information as you knew in row number two and heart number one. So you're going to begin by chain three and you are going to put an, a treble into the same stitch. Okay. Now you're going to put one treble into the next stitch. The next one is the middle, so you'll put three trebles in that one.
one treble into the next one. And then in the very last one that you'll have, you'll place in two trebles there. So go right into the turning chain, not to a space, but the chain work itself. And there'll be two trebles there, but you're not quite done. Before you turn around, I need you to slip stitch this to the same spot here. So just slip stitch to the same spot on the other side. And this will join those together. And then you can flip the whole thing upside down and then finish this heart. Okay, so you're back on the right side and now you're gonna do the lobe area of this heart here. So hearts two through seven here is written properly. So row number three, you'll, you'll already just have turned because I told you to, and you'll single crochet in the top of the first stitch. And then you will then place in the next stitch, one double crochet and then one and one treble into the same stitch. The next stitch is two trebles and one double crochet into the next stitch. The next stitch is one single. The next one is a slip stitch. And now we're gonna begin to get bigger again. So the next one is a single. The next one is going to be one double crochet first and then two trebles into the same stitch. The next stitch here is going to be a treble and a double crochet into the same stitch. And the very last stitch in the turning chain will be one single crochet. And that was hearts number two through seven. And so I'm gonna weave in my ends later and I already showed you how to do that as I mentioned, so I'll do that off camera later. But I'm going to work on the remaining of the hearts and I'll be back on heart number eight when we have all of this done and I'll show you how to attach it to the beginning so that these hearts are circling the center. So let's start heart number eight. So the goal is, is to attach it. So I'm leaving all the tail ends in so I don't give you an illusion that you have to not do that. So we're going to begin exactly what you already know. Um, I found as I did a few more hearts, I got the pattern into my brain. And uh, um, I'm also um, going to submit a pattern revision to Yarnspirations after this is done for that heart number uh, one. So we're going to join chain three and you will apply your four trebles into the same loop. So we have one, two, and three, and four. Turn your work. And row number two is similar to what you already know. And so you'll begin and you're going to chain three and put in another treble into the very first one. The next one is going to be one treble by itself. The next one is the middle one, so there's going to be three trebles in that one. The next one is one treble by itself. And the last one is going to be two trebles. So you are going to slip stitch it like you have been with the hearts number two through seven. So you don't forget to do that next. 
to laying it out, you're going to go to the connection spot, slip stitch it, don't worry about all the tail ends, we'll deal with that, and then turn your work. So you're back to the right side. So you're going to join this heart to the beginning at the end of this next section, row number three. So it's like you already know, you're gonna single crochet the first, you'll double crochet and treble the next. The next one is two trebles and a double crochet in the same. Next one is one single by itself. The next one is a slip stitch. The next one is a single. And then we're going to get bigger again. So it's going to be one double into the next one plus two more trebles into the same stitch. The next one is going to be one treble and a double into the same stitch. And then the last one is going to be a single crochet and you are going to slip stitch then to the same position over here on the first heart that you started with. So slip stitch it and then toss, uh, cut the yarn. And what I want you to do, I'm gonna do it off camera, but I've already shown you how to weave in the ends, but start weaving in all your ends. And when I come back, I'll have that done for you. And then we'll have a nice clean project to work with. You can see that because the project is much bigger, it doesn't look as refined as the smaller look on the pillow, but uh, all the stitch work is the same. And once it gets stretched, cause you can probably use this for a larger pillow too. And um, you'll see that it will really work out quite nicely. So I'll be back and we'll start round number seven in a moment. So all my ends are woven in, it looks great. I'm gonna keep my stitch marker in and we're now going to officially go to round number six where we're gonna start bringing everything together and you'll see how it will connect together. Let's begin working round six. Let's begin round number six. You have to join it to the second treble of the heart. So you started off with a single, a double, there's a treble and then a treble. It's the fourth one in and you're going to attach there Attach. So you're going to chain a total of four. So one, two, three, four. This will count as a double crochet and a chain two at the same time. And in the same one, you are going to double crochet. Now, we have to go to the exact same one, but on the other side of the heart. To get there first though, you have to chain five. So one, two, three, four and, and five. And then you look, so you have a single, a double, treble, and a treble. It's right here, where the cat's getting into a box. So you're going to do the same thing. So you're gonna double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. And now you're going to go to the next heart. So to get there first, you are going to chain two, or sorry, the cat's getting on my nerves. So you're going to, so now you're gonna to go to the next one, you're gonna chain five. So one, two, three, four, five, and it's the same positioning. So it's really the fourth one over. So one, two, three, four, it's the second treble. You're going to double crochet, chain two, and double crochet in. And then you have to go to the same heart, but on the other side, so chain five, so one, two, three, four, five, jump to the same one on this side. So you have a single, double, treble, and a treble. So double crochet, chain two, double crochet. And you're gonna do this all the way around for round number six. Coming to the end of number six, I'm just doing my final five, and then I'm going to join it to the third stitch up of the, sorry, the second stitch up of 
the first chain four that you started with. So it should look pretty balanced and that's where we're gonna go from there. Round seven is next. Let's begin round number seven. I attempted it several times with just reading the instructions, but I realized I just had to take a photograph of the table uh, with the pattern underneath back, uh, upside down so I have a white background. And you're going to notice in round number seven is that we are going to convert to a square. And what's gonna happen is that there's five of these groups of trebles of chain twos that separate them in order to make it. And the middle one is the new corner. So you'll see that here. So just remember that there's five working in a row and then you're spanning in the distance that are of the side. So it, it, it is kind of complicated. So just get yourself through this round and we'll try to do it slowly and work through it together. Let's begin round number seven. So let's begin. I always find that going from a circle to a square is kind of complicated as it is, but when it's lace work like this, it gets a little more. So we're going to go to the next chain two space. We're just gonna slip stitch over from where we're sitting and we're going to begin. So the technical corner is actually the one before and we'll be finishing that before, uh, when we get back around. So let's begin, chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. This will count as a treble and a chain two spot. In the same one, I want you to treble. Okay, now you're going to chain two And in the next chain five spot right here, you're going to apply a treble and a chain two and a treble. And now we're gonna head to the flat side next. So right where we're sitting, I need you to chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and go to the next chain five space right here. Single crochet, chain three, and single crochet into the same spot. Okay. Let's continue. We're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And right in the next chain five space, you are going to apply a treble, chain two, and treble. You are then going to chain two, come to the next chain two spot right here, and you're going to apply a treble, chain two, and treble. It would help if I actually did the stitch properly. You are then going to chain two, and this one that we're about to put in is the new corner. So it'll be a treble, chain two, treble in the chain five space. If you want, we'll just pause here for a moment. If you want, and it will help you, and maybe it'll help me too. So I don't oppose to getting help, but maybe you wanna create these stitch markers so you can see where the corners are in the future. And just to help yourself get yourself around. So I just told you that this is the new corner. So just, apply a stitch marker into the space and you'll be able to find that corner in the future just in case it's not so obvious for you. Okay, so let's continue and we're going to work our way through another side. So chain two, come to the next chain two spot here and treble and chain two and treble. chain two, into the next chain five space, put in a treble, chain two, and treble. We 
now going to hit to the, the flat side of the square. So to do that, you're going to chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Come to the next chain five spot right here. Single crochet. Chain three. And single crochet. That's midway through a side. So, so you pull it like this, you can actually see the square happening. Let's continue. We're going to chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Come to the next chain five spot and do your treble, chain two and treble. You are then going to chain two, come to the next chain two spot, and you'll do a treble, chain two, and treble. Chain two. This is your next corner right here that you're going into. So you'll do your treble, chain two, and treble. And if you want to put in your stitch marker there to represent the corner, now is your time to do it. I'm going to keep going on this round all the way around. So you can really see how it's starting to square off. Chain two, right where you're sitting, one and two. Come to the next chain two spot, treble, chain two, treble. Chain two, next chain five spot, treble, chain two, treble. And now we're ready for a flat side. So chain seven first. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And come to the next chain five space, single crochet, chain three, and single crochet into the same spot. Chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come to the next chain five spot, treble, chain two, treble. Okay, now you're going to chain two and come to the next chain two spot right here and treble, chain two, treble. Chain two, the next one is your new corner. So treble, chain two, and treble. If you want to mark it, now's your time to do that. This is your new corner. Let's carry on. So there's another corner done. Chain two, next chain two spot right here, treble, chain two, treble. Chain two, next chain five spot, treble, chain two, treble. Okay, so now we're ready for the middle spot here. So we're going to chain seven to get there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Come to the next chain five spot. Single, 
chain three and single. And this is the flat side in the middle. Move on, let's chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come to the next spot right here, chain five, and make sure you put in a treble, chain two, treble. Chain two, come to the next chain two spot, treble, chain two, and treble. Chain two, this is your new corner, and you see it's right before you started like I promised. So it'll be treble, chain two, and treble. And what I would do, mark it anyway, you might as well, you have the resources available to you, so mark this corner. Might be helpful for you to know. And then you're going to finish this off by chaining two. And you're going to slip stitch it here to the beginning. Okay, so you're gonna to come to the third chain up and you're going to fasten off this yarn. So you're gonna get rid of this yarn, weave in your ends, and this will be the end of round number two. And so your shape, especially if you have your stitch markers in play, will be more square than it, sh than it was, and we're ready then for making more hearts. So we need to make four more hearts to create the new corners that will appear in this ring bearer pillow. So of course you always learn as you go. So right where I had you mark is the corners, uh, what I thought was the corners, but in actual fact, it's the chain three. So these will be the new corners as it transitions, but I don't think I did a bad job of uh, being able to uh, identify these. So let's not um, freak out or leave me a comment that that was dumb. <laughs> if you wanna say dumb, you should come to my house. So we're going to move on to doing the hearts. It's exactly what you did before. The difference is, is that you're going to attach the hearts here on the chain three right here and you're going to make the hearts exactly how you did these so i'll show you how to do those and then we'll continue on from that point so you do for the hearts if you think i'm a space cadet you're not far off so you're going to begin and you'll go into the chain three it's it appears in the flat side when you look at it from this perspective and this is technically the new corner i know don't be judging so we're going to just join chain three and it's exactly how you did the hearts before so you may remember so you're going to put in four trebles. So one, two, three, and four. And then you're going to turn your work and let's do row number two. You're going to chain three, so one, two, three and put another treble into the beginning. Okay, the next one is one treble by itself. The next one is gonna have three trebles into the same one. Next one is one by itself. And the last one in the turning chain has two trebles in it. So the only difference this time is that you're not adjoining it with anything else because there's nothing to join to. Okay, so we're gonna flip it back to the right side, the good side up. We'll do the final. It's exactly what you already knew it to be. So you're gonna start with your first one. You're gonna single. The next one is a double and a treble. The next one is two trebles and a double. Okay, the next one will be a single. Slip stitch in the next. 
and then we have the next one is a single and then we have a double and two trebles in the next the next one is one treble and a double And the final one will be one single crochet. And then that's it. So you're gonna do all of those chain three spots. There's only four of them all together. So you've already done just one. You'll weave in your ends. Get rid of those. And therefore you just need to do another one for here, here, and here. And continue that all around. And I'll be right back in a moment and we'll continue to round number eight. So let's begin round number eight. And we wanna start off with this heart up here. And we want to start off with the second double, or sorry, the second treble. Okay, so then we had the single, double, treble, and right here, this is the second one. And so I'm going to just grab my yarn. This is a relatively easy round. And you're just going to go into the second treble here. And let's just attach it. You can do it as um, chain one and single crochet in, or you can do a standing single crochet. And now we have to jump to the other side of this heart. Okay, but because we're in, this is now the new corner. So because of that, we're going to chain a total of 13. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And then just go to the look from the end so you got the single the double the treble and the treble okay so it's the the fourth stitch from the edge and you're going to single crochet there so this will make up your new corner so now let's work our way across and we're going to be going ourselves to the other side of the heart and so we're going to start off by chaining seven so so one two three four five six and seven and what you're looking for are these four or sorry these five pieces right here They're, they look like these stitches and that's what you're looking for okay so there's something in every one of the five so because it's further down from the heart the first one has to be a double treble so we have to wrap the total three times so one two and three and noticing that i'm just kind of pinching it so that it doesn't unravel and I'm just going to grab the first one of the grouping of five, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through two, 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 and two. You're now going to chain two and do that again in the same spot. So wrap three times, so one, two, three, same spot, pull through two, 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 and two. You're then going to chain two, and in the next one right here, you're going to do that with treble. So you wrap twice only, and then going in the middle, pull through two, two, and two, and then chain two, and treble again. You're then gonna to come to the middle one. So you're gonna chain two before you get there. And the middle one is gonna be a double crochet. Okay, and then chain two and a double crochet right into that space. I'll remove this stitch marker later. So that was the middle piece and now we're gonna get bigger. So we have to chain two and the next one has to be a treble. So we're gonna treble right into the next space there and then chain two that separates them and treble again. So you chain two, go to the next one, which is the last one of the grouping of five and that's a double treble. So wrap twice, sorry, wrap three times, my apologies. And then pull through two, two, two and two and chain two and do that again. So wrap three times and then in, pull through through two, 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 and two. 
and now you have to get to that second treble that is in there. So um, it's not the first treble, but the second. But to get there first, we have to chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if you know that the edge is single, so single, double, treble, and treble. It's the, it's the second treble that you'll run into. You'll single crochet, and then you're gonna turn the corner again. So it's just how you started on this side. So you're going to chain 13, go into the second treble from the, from the edge, and then you'll chain your seven and then continue down this side exactly what I just showed you. So you can reverse the video back in order to play that again if you need to. And I'll see you at the end of this round. This is round number eight. So I'm coming around here on number eight and I'm just going to slip stitch to the beginning single crochet to bring this to conclusion. You will notice that your um, project now is completely square. So if you wanna remove any stitch markers, you can. If you can identify what is the right side and the wrong side, you can take out your center stitch marker as well. And we're going to continue now into round number nine. Round number nine, I'm going to take you through one complete side. So we're com before a, a turn. So I'll take you corner to corner and you can reverse back the video then to be able to um, play it back in order to do the rest of the um, sides, just in case you don't understand. So right where you're sitting, you need to chain a total of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And in this spot right here, just any part of the chain, just single crochet in. It's gonna balance itself out, so you watch. This is lace work at its best. You were then going to chain three, and then you were going to slam in a, a treble into the same spot, so same space. So that's in, and now we're gonna put the official corner into the same spot. It will balance itself out. The corners are technically one double treble, and then chain three, one double treble, and that's what we're gonna do. So put in a double treble first. Chain three will turn the corner, so one, two, three, and then a double treble in there again. Okay, so there is your corner. So let's take you through one complete side. Now that the corner is in, let's go down the one side. So you're going to chain two, and in the same chain 13 space, you're going to apply a treble. Just let it sit anywhere in that space, it'll balance. Then you were going to chain a total of three. So one, two, three. And then in the same space again, you were going to single crochet. You're now going to chain four. So one, two, three, and, and four. And you were going to see this single crochet right here. You're going to apply a treble in there. So right into the single crochet itself. So we officially just got beyond the corner. And now let's continue. You're going to chain four. So one, two, three, four. Come into the chain seven space. Single crochet anywhere in the space because it will balance. And then chain four again. So one, two, three, four and treble into the same spot. Now you're going to chain two, and you'll notice that the grouping of the four trebles is pointed directly to the first, see, see the spot right here? So you're gonna skip this, and you're gonna go to the first single crochet after this V-stitch. So don't go into a space, go right into um, the chain itself. And you're gonna put four trebles into that same chain. So that same chain will hold it from sliding. So you got one, and you're gonna do it again. You got two. This is three. This is four. Now you're going to chain two. 
and you're going to skip this v-stitch and go right into the space here and you are going to treble into that space this is the middle of the side so in order to get there first you have to chain three and single crochet right into the middle of that v-stitch this is the double crochet chain two double crochet so you're going to single crochet there and then you're going to chain three and see the space right after that v-stitch just like you see it here it's just remember it's like a mirror you are going to then put in another treble there sorry if i'm off camera in any way i keep pushing myself forward so now you're going to chain two and you are just going to jump over this chain this here and you're going to go to the second chain of the grouping of two and you are going to apply four trebles into the same chain so don't go into a space so we have one two three and four now you're going to chain two and see this chain seven right here that's where you're going to play first you're going to place in a treble first into that anywhere in that chain space it will balance itself chain three so one two three and in the same space single crochet in chain four one two three four and the single crochet that is on the side of the heart here you are going to make that as a treble right into that single crochet I want you to chain four so one two three four and in this chain 13 space that's part of the corner you're going to single crochet chain three so one two three treble into the same spot okay we're not quite yet done you're going to uh, chain two and you're going to do your corner so you remember the corners are double trebles wrap three times chain three and double treble again and that will take you through one complete side and you can restart again and you see it looks just like the photograph okay the crochet diagram and I want you to do the rest of the um, sides and I'll be right back this is round number nine so I'm coming back around a number nine and you notice that we started before the corner and so we have this chain here this was a chain seven if you recall so right after you do this last single crochet you were just going to chain four so one two three and four and you were going to slip stitch to the third chain up here and that will complete this round number nine okay so you got everything worked out so far and we're going to continue then into number 10. Okay, round number 10. You're going to start off and you're going to chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So this is technically a treble and a chain three spot. In the same one that you came out of, you're going to do an extended treble two together using this stitch and this first treble that you'll run into over here. So to do that, you're going to wrap twice and you're going to go into the same stitch that we were just in and you're going to pull through now normally with treble you would yarn over pull through two and two and two in the extended version you're going to yarn over pull through one only and then yarn over pull through two and two and hold it you're not done the one that i showed you over here this treble is the next one so you want to do this as a two together so you're going to wrap the hook twice and go in the top of that treble pull through pull through two so you're going to come into the one over here just wrap twice and in pull through and then this is extended so pull through only one 
and then pull through two and two. And you see three loops in the hook, yarn over, pull through all three. You're not quite done though. You're going to chain three. And in the same one that you were just in, you're going to treble into that same one. So just a regular treble. And now you're ready for a corner. So I'm gonna take you through a complete side once we get this turn, uh, corner done. So right where you're sitting, I need you to chain two. So put in three trebles first. Followed by a chain three once that's done. So chain three and then three more trebles into the same space and that will turn your corner. So I'm gonna take you through a complete side and then you can reverse back the video to this moment to do another side if you wish. This, I actually have been all the way around. Um, I had to redo a take because I missed a stitch. Um, so anyway, I'm more familiar with it the second time around, just in case that you think it's easy. It's because I've already done it once. So I'm going to chain two and I'm gonna look for this treble right here. D ignore this corner that's holding that Go to this one and you're going to apply a treble there. Now you're going to chain three. So one, two, three, and you're going to use the same one that you were just in and then look for this treble over here. So, and they're going to be an extended treble two together. So going in, pull through, Pull through one, pull through two, and two, and hold. Don't finish it. And then wrap again twice and come out to the top of this treble over here. Pull through, pull through one, and then pull through two, and two. And you see three loops, pull through all three. So that just reached over to a diamond shape. So we have to go back into this one here, but we have to chain three first and then come straight on down. Okay, so you, it looks like that. Okay, so just kind of look at it from this point of view. Okay, so we want to do this again using the top of this treble right here. This is a chain to our chain going down, chain going up. You're using the trebles. So you're going to uh, chain three first. So one, two, three. So reach over here and here as a two together treble, extended treble. So wrap twice, pull through, pull through one, and pull through two, and two, and hold. Don't finish it. And then reach all the way over here, wrap twice, pull through, pull through one, and then pull through two, and two, and then pull through all three. But you're not done. You need to chain three and then come in the straight one down. Okay, and so you can see that, see the diamond shapes? If you look at it from this perspective, they're, they look like diamonds. Now we're gonna come over here and before we can do the four together that expand, extends over there, we need to chain five first. So let's chain five, so one, two, three, four, five. And you were going to do a four together treble using those four. So let's do that. So we'll just wrap twice, going into the first, pull through, pull through two and two and hold, and do that three more times. So wrap twice, the next stitch, pull through, pull through two and two and hold. Again. And one more time. And you should have a total of five loops after you've repeated that step, which you have. Pull through everything and then chain five after it. So one, two, three, four, five. So now we're in the center piece of it between the corners. And so we're gonna be playing all in here. We're going to be ignoring this single crochet here. And so as we start, we're gonna come straight on down. So a treble straight on for the next treble that you'll run into. And this time, because it's the middle, you're only going to chain two. And you're not going to do an extended uh, two together treble. It's just a two together treble. So just coming over here. 
and just wrap twice into the regular stitch, pull through, pull through two and two and hold, and then reach over to this next one right here, the next treble, wrap twice, pull through two and two and hold. You should see three loops, pull through all three. Now you're gonna chain two and then treble straight on down. So the middle also looks like those diamond shapes. Okay, so if you look at it from this perspective, do you see it? And now we're gonna carry on. So the, the four trebles are coming in next, so you gotta chain five before you do that. So one, two, three, four, five, and put those together as a four together treble crochet. How many loops will you be left on on the hook? once you've got all four collected. Hopefully you said five. Okay, pull through all of them and then chain five after it. So one, two, three, four, five. And now we're coming closer to the corner. So let's get here first. So we're gonna come straight on down with the treble. And now chain three, one, two, three. And now you're gonna use this one and the top of this treble right here. And you're gonna do an extended treble two together. So make sure you only pull through one and then two and two. And you're using extended because it's slightly longer but not as full as doing a triple treble or a double treble. So now you're gonna wrap twice, come on over here pull through, pull through two and two and hold. And now you're gonna pull through all three loops. Chain three, one, two, three, and then come on straight down. So when you're on the edges like this, there's two sets of those. So you see there's another diamond there. If you look on the other side, there's two sets on this side too. So just after you get the first one done, you have to do it again, just remember that. Okay, and now you're gonna start again. So you'll chain three. You'll come into the one that you were just in, do an extended treble, two together. So my yarn is kind of tangled off camera. It's because I've had a rip out and I just left it in the ball. And now I'm gonna reach over to this treble over here and finish that extended treble two together chain three, and I'm not quite done. I need to come back into that same one right here and finish it. And as I just mentioned, see, you see two diamond shapes. Now you're not, you're gonna head to the corner next, so you're just gonna chain two, and then in the corners, it's gonna be three trebles first. So one, two, and three, and then chain two. My apologies, it's chain three, so I don't another chain, so chain three, and then three trebles back in. This lace work is kind of hard to teach. Trade why I don't do it often. So you might rip me apart on the comments saying you're a terrible teacher. You know what, with lace, it's, it's more complicated. So I'm gonna do another one. So you're probably not wrong. Okay, so you can reverse back the video to do this side again. So you do that and keep doing that around and I'll meet you at the end of this round. This is number 10. So let's finish this round number 10. So right here, you see the diamond shape. You need two of those, do you remember that? So after you've come in here, you've just passed the chain five, you come straight on down. I'm now doing a two together extended treble. And when I do that, I'm gonna come into this spot right here. So pull through, pull through one, two. And then once you see it, the three, pull it through. And then you're gonna chain three, so one, two, three. And you're going to slip stitch to the third chain up because that is like a regular treble going down. So when I look at it from this perspective, I see one diamond and I see another and together, you see the two diamonds and this round is complete. Let's move on to number 11. In round number 11, we're going to start up and you're either crocheting into a space 
sometimes you are doing an actual stitch itself so we're gonna have to watch that and I'm going to get yourself to the corner and then I'm gonna dictate all the stitches across and then you can reverse back the video to do each side if you want so let's begin to do that next so let's begin chain one and in the same one that you did the attaching with just single crochet so that's right into a stitch the next space here is going to be three singles into there so one two and three if you're reviewing the diagram you will have noticed that there's a green uh, single crochet with the narrow down i want you to single crochet into this space here it splits the legs of that stitch and single in there and that holds everything up nicely this space after it single crochet in the next three so one two and three you're going to skip the next treble the dog hair is included today so skip the next treble and right before you're starting to turn the corner you're going to put three single crochets in the space so one two three there's going to be three single crochets and one into each before you turn the corner so one two three and then in the corner space here um, you're going to just single crochet five times so one two three four five now this is tighter than it should be because I'm just realizing I chained two so I have to put a correction on the notes for that um, that you should have chained three and not two what doesn't kill you makes you stronger right so let's do a whole complete side together so the next three here in a row these three trebles become one single each so we have one two three in this chain two spot you're going to put in three single crochets so we have one two and three and you're going to skip this treble and go right into the space and you'll put in three single crochets there so we have one two three the next one we're going to see the green arrow you're going to come into the space and split that open so just go right into the space and single crochet down and then you're going to single crochet in the next uh, three stitches right into the space so we have one two and three single crochet in the top of this treble and then single crochet three times in the space so we have one two and three the next one is the green arrow you're going to come into the space single crochet in and then you're going to put three single crochets in the space after that so we have one two and three skip over this treble and then in this chain five space you're going to put in five single crochets so you have one two three four and five you're going to put one into the top of this four together and then five into the next chain five space there so we have one two three four and five skip this stitch here and you're going to put in three single crochets into this chain three uh, chain two spot right there so three into there so one two three we want to split this so just single crochet into the space and split those apart and then three single crochets on the other side so one two let's keep on moving skip this next treble and you see a chain five and a chain five so do uh, five in each and then one at the top of this uh, cluster so we have one two three four and five one in the top of the cluster and then do the next five so one two three four and five skip the next treble and go right into the space three single crochets in there so one 
two, three, and then come down and split the split it so right into there, and then do three single crochets into the next space. So one, two, three, one single into the next treble, and then three into the next space here. So one, two, three, split it. So you're making those diamonds split. Three into the next one after that. So one, two, three. Now you have your chain two spots, so you're gonna skip over this treble and in the chain two spot, put in three single crochets. So one, two, and three, and then one in each of the trebles. So one, two, three, and then right in this chain three spot of the corner. This one is technically a chain three, so it's good. So put in five single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five. So you can reverse back the video to go all the way across then with these single crochets, and I will be back at the end of the round. So I'm coming back around. The space before I started is just three singles into the same spot, and I'm just going to join. So we're now going to officially do the last round, and this will be round number 12, which is the final. Now round number 12 is gonna be determining if you've kept your stitch counts right or not. If you have not, just try to fake it because you've come so far and this will be in the fold of the pillow as well. So you might be able to get away with it pretty easily. I think at this point, just fake it or make it. So let's uh, begin. We're gonna chain three, which will count as your first double crochet and a chain one space. And you're gonna skip one stitch and double crochet in the next. And you're gonna do that all the way around. The corners are special, so chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next. So hopefully the stitch counts will work out. Anything is possible at this point. And I will get myself to the first corner and we'll make some decisions there and I'll show you how to do a corner. So I'm carrying on around and I'm gonna come into the middle one of the corner so my stitch counts are right, no faking today. And I'm going to double crochet in that spot. Chain one, double crochet again chain one and double crochet again and chain one right after it. So you've just got three into there to the corner. So then you just turn it, skip the first one and double crochet into the next chain one, skip one and do that all the way to the next corner and so on and do this for round number 12. So coming all the way around and I've chained one and then I'm just going to push this. It looks like there's two stitches to get uh, left over. It's not, this is part of the first one. So just lean it over and get the second stitch up and just pull in and that's done. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna fasten off and then I'm gonna talk about the remaining of the project. Um, the really the purpose of this today's video was just to take you through here. So let me just uh, back you out. And so you can see it's in this sample, it's pretty large because I was using a bigger hook and different yarn, but it's actually a really neat idea. And um, I'm gonna to talk to you about how to finish this at the end. So now that you're ready to move on, you're gonna do the back and the back will be chaining 88 and you'll do a double crochet in the fifth chain from the hook, chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next and you'll keep doing that. So the back end of the idea here is that it looks like a mesh, okay? So it'll look very meshy in the back, which is fine because the pillow that you're gonna make is also gonna be very uh, stylist, uh, uh, like really style conscious. So you're going to do that until you repeat up until the 42nd row, and then you're gonna weave off. It's gonna match the same size of what you did. So even if you did change your hook or your yarn, it should end up being the same size square. You're then going to damp block both the front and the back to seven and a quarter, and then you'll do that. So just damp it with a damp cloth or whatever, lay it flat, just stretch it out and let them both dry. Make sure that they're both the same size. Here is instructions on how to make the pillow just in case you cannot find one. And so you can have the fabric and this is all the information. I'm not great at sewing, so I'm not gonna demonstrate that here on camera today. Once you're ready for this, then you are going to do with the wrong sides facing each other. So this means that the good sides are facing outward uh, when you go to do this. So this is the good side. So you'll put the, the other a panel behind it with the good side facing away from you and therefore the wrong sides are together and what you're going to do is that you're going to join in any corner of the chain one space you're going to single crochet pico 
single crochet picot into the same chain one space into a really a corner. Okay, and you're going to do that uh, there. What's going to happen then is that you are going to single crochet into the next chain one space, uh, pico and single crochet around the same space. But when you, what you're doing here is that when you do that, you're not only going through this one here, but you're going through the back panel as well, so that you're single crocheting it um, together. And then you're doing the pico as a little bit of the added flavor that you see within the pattern itself. So if you really look at the outside edges, you can see that there is a pico there. So it's pulling it together to make it beautiful, just like that. So you're just gonna go all the way around uh, in that same manner. And what you need to do is make sure that you insert the pillow before doing the final side of the pillow because you're not gonna be able to remove the pillow once it's in place. So slide in the pillow and do your final edge. And then once you're done with that, you can do that. It says then to tie two 15 inch pieces of ribbon to the center of the pillow and then just trim the end. So you're just gonna tie it to the center so that it will hold two rings and therefore you'll have that just like that, that you see. And that's something that you can decide to do for yourself. And this is a really neat idea. Um, this is probably the hardest to try I've ever had to film uh, in years. Um, it was pretty rocky at some points, but I did get my way through it. And today is a fabulous day because it's over. <laughs> so you can remove out any stitch markers and here is an overinflated size of what you're working on today. That's it for now. And we hope that you enjoyed and we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.